Yo, what's good, Fight Fans? It's Sarah Six Corner. And um, I'm just scrolling down uh, Boxing247.com trying to see what's good. And I see this article right here that had me thinking. First thing that I thought is that it's bull bullshit, you know. <laughs> but um, I had to really sit back and think about it, you know. <sighs> Dimitri and um, this guy, um, author, um, they're pretty good fighters. They're good fighters. All right. I'm not gonna go say anything bad about them. I'll start with I'll start with this cat right here. He's ranked number five in the WBC, number one in the IBF, number five um, for the WBO, and uh, he is 11 and 0. He has all knockouts. So 11 knockouts, 11 wins. Um, he's fought for only 31 rounds. He's 32 years old. Five eleven and a half. 73 inch reach um and he's fighting for the vacant ibf title um this saturday actually on the 11th against uh this guy right here so he doesn't have that much experience for being 32 years old um because he's only only had 11 fights but i mean he is everywhere he's ranked in three of the uh of the um sanctioned bodies of the of the um the light heavyweight division you know and that's just that's saying a lot that you know he, he is pretty hungry and he wants a title and he's going to get that title shot this weekend and i'm more than sure he's going to beat that dude that he's fighting the dude he's fighting is 23 and 1 which is a good record but i think he only has like five knockouts so he's a soft touch for real that um since he's fighting a very powerful person i'm more than sure um he would probably just knock him out and uh get that ibf strap this Saturday. Now as for Dimitri, um I don't know whether you pronounce his name um Bival or Bivol, but he's a very good fighter. I actually did a prospect video on him a few months back and I have nothing bad to say about him. He seems like a very powerful fighter. Uh as far as far as um he, he can punch and you can tell when he lands flush either to the body or to the head or whoever he's he's already fought you could tell that they feel it and kind of they lose they lose all um all determination and will to fight or will to win like you can tell like as soon as he land them, them punches he he's actually the one who had the fight last weekend against Trent Broadhurst I think his name is and he actually knocked him out in the first round um so yeah I mean he's when you uh you watch him train or watch him spar or see any of his highlights or uh watch uh watch a whole fight you could tell that he his 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 center line and the way he throws his punches is is close to perfect honestly I like him I really do but um Dimitri is the WBA champ he just got that belt and um he's 12 and 0 with 10 knockouts he's only fought for 64 rounds um, his knockout percentage is 83%. He's six foot tall. And um, his next time he fights is actually on the 27th of December. But what about everybody else that's in the light, the light heavyweight division? Like, it's not, I wouldn't sit there and say that these two uh, guys from Russia is going to take it over. I mean, what about, um, what is his name? Sullivan Barrera. What about him? Barrera is 20 and 0 with 14 knockouts. He's fought for 104 rounds. Um, his knockout rating is 67%. He's 35 years old, 6'2", with a reach of 73 inches. Now, if you ask me, he is the one who should have fought um, Bival or fought who, whoever um, Bivol fought to get that, WB, uh, that WBA title. I think... Um, um, Barrera should have been in the running for that, not um, not Dimitri, because he didn't really pay his dues like that in order to get a title shot that fast in his career. But um, Sullivan, he fights uh, Felix um, Valera. I really <laughs> don't know if I butchered his name, but he fights him on the 25th of this month, which is November. And um, yeah, he actually, who else fights? I think Kovac, um, Kovac fights that night also. But um, this is going to be, a you know, kind of a hard fight for um, Barrera, if you ask me. I don't think it's going to be a, 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 a um, hands-down win for him because the guy he's fighting, Felix, does have some power. And I know um, 
Adonis Stevenson is 40 years old and on his way out out the door, but he still, uh, excuse me, but he still is the WBC champ, you know, and um, he, I think he has a fight coming on the uh, on the twenty seventh of uh, January. Who he's who he's going to be fighting hasn't been announced yet. And then you have Kovac. Now um, he's still he's <laughs> he's still a light heavyweight fighter. I mean, I don't know uh, if whoever who made this article wasn't thinking about Kovac or Stevenson, but them two right there are the are the you know the, the true champs of the division. Yes, they don't yes, uh Koviak right now don't have a belt, but he's supposed to be fighting for the vacant WBO belt this November on the twenty fifth. And he's going to win that fight. So he will be the WBO champ by the end of um by the end of this year. Most definitely by the end of that fight. He will be the champ, the WBO champ. But his specs go as follows. He's won thirty fights. He's lost two. He has one draw on his record. Um, 26 knockouts, 134 rounds fault total. Um, knockout percentage is 79%. He's 34 years old, six foot tall, 72 and a half inch reach, and he's rushing also. Like so, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why whoever wrote this article just left him out, but and just talked about the other two Russians. That's um about. I mean, about one of them, well. Yeah, one of them's about to be the IBF champion, and Dimitri just got his WBA championship belt. But um, Koviak's falling right behind him. He's about to get his WBO strap. And you still have Marcus Brown. He's he's on there. He's still um he's still fighting, still active, still at the uh, light heavyweight position, and he still has an O on his record. So he's still twenty and O. Hasn't lost a fight yet. Um, Fifteen knockouts, seventy three rounds. Um, 75% knockout rating. He's only 27. He's six one and a half with a 75 and a half inch reach, and he's a southpaw. So he's the he's the taller, um, lengthier fighter, and and you know he's he's he's, he's left handed. You know, so you can't really count him out until you beat him. But the first man that came to my mind, yo, the first man is Anthony Yard. Am I the only one who think? In a year, maybe even two, ain't nobody going to be able to beat this, man. I don't think so. You might have, you know, one or two guys like Koviak and <laughs> Koviak and uh, Adonis Stevenson is the only ones I see him giving, giving uh, Yard a little bit of work. You know what I'm saying? Giving him some problems. But he ain't been tested yet. You know, what I mean, Demetrius Baval haven't been tested yet, even though that he, even though he got the opportunity. If you ask me, Anthony Yard would have knocked out everybody that Baval fought, even the person he didn't knock out. He would have been the well. I'm sorry, the two guys he he didn't knock out. He would have knocked them out. I mean, I'm not saying you know um, Anthony Yard got a perfect 13 and 13, but you know his second, I think his second or fourth fight or something like that. Anthony Yard went the distance, which I, I think was, what, four rounds, maybe even six rounds, which is, you know, not much, you know what I'm saying? But everybody else he knocked out. Yard's, um, Yard right now is ranked seventh in the WBO. That's all his, he is ranked under. He's um, just had his 13th fight. He's 13-0 and 0 with 12 knockouts. Um, he's fought for 24 rounds. He usually get him out there early, you guys, early. Um, his knockout rating is 92%. He's 26 years old. He's six foot tall. And, um, actually he has a fight on the 9th of December with the, uh, the Lomo um, Rigondeaux fight. Um, right on the 9th, uh, he fights against, um, some guy that's 32 and four, some guy that he's going to knock out and make his record 34 and oh, with 13 knockout. I mean, 14 and oh, with 13 knockouts. But this is this is the man to watch. I'm telling you guys, I'm um, I'm gonna make a video uh, with um, just some of the things that that he does very well uh, pretty soon. But always like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Peace.